Uncle Roger loved to save money. That's why I only have one shirt. If you have more than one shirt, what are you? Millionaire or something? Hiya. So in my effort to save money, Uncle Roger found this video. Dollar Store Pad Thai by nephew William Osman. I thought I'd try to cook Pad Thai using stuff I only bought at the dollar store. If you don't know what Pad Thai is, it's it's like the, the orange chicken of Thai food. It's kind of the most Americanized Thai food. Like Yeah, but Thai people eat Pad Thai also. This nephew William, he's not professional chef. He just random YouTuber. So we go easy on him. Raspberry drink mix. Skittles drink mix. Ah, yeah. Why you ADHD? Just buy Pad Thai ingredient, not Skittle. I'm gonna buy them. Ellen DeGeneres blindfolded musical game? Musical chairs? What? <laughs> Ellen DeGeneres board game? Uncle Roger thought she cancelled. Hmm. Maybe next time Uncle Roger get cancelled again, I'm gonna come up with board game also. Hey, vegetable oil. This looks like vegetable oil. Good packaging. This looks like a cleaning product. Shrimp, ground shrimp. Ground shrimp, okay for pad thai. No way. This is gonna be better pad thai than I ever made. Oh, nice tamarind. Fuyo. Tamarind, correct? But what kind of dollar store is this? They got both tamarind and Ellen DeGeneres bot game. So random. I I is this dollar store run by Jamie Oliver? Is it kind of random? Finally. Cooking starting. Chef! You know, I actually used to work at a Thai restaurant. <laughs> First step of making pad thai. Huh? And I want to say, is I that, really want to is that, walk? that with making pad thai the way I've made pad Why thai. Why you walk inside body bag? Look at me. I'm a, I'm a white dude in Southern California. Of course, the way I'm going to make pad thai is not going to be the correct way to pad thai because I read it on a blog written by some white chick in Illinois. That's your mistake, nephew William. He said, nephew, when Uncle Roger wants Thai recipe, I always go to hotthaikitchen.com. Not white girl from Illinois.com. Typically, you would you would soak the uh, noodles beforehand. We don't have the luck. Look at that! that. Look at that! I never look at that half-ass fan in background. That fan not even trying. That fan gives so little shit. It's the Rachel Ray of home appliance. Would procrastinate. I would come up with an idea to cook pad thai at the very last minute. Why are you doing everything under table? I haven't done this in a while. It's like you're doing something illegal. Hiya, uh, little nephew. You're cooking pad thai, not meth. But at least he got wok and wok burner, so that good. I've never done it with absolutely the worst ingredients. Wait, wait, what, 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 what noodle are you using? But the first thing you're gonna do is stick your no. into your wok. No, that look, that look like right pasta. You because you forgot to do it before you cooked. We've got a little bit of a problem right now. Hiya, uh, it, it linguini. No, no, Uncle Roger's so upset. I want to put my leg down from chair, but in this shithole Airbnb, there's not a single chair. Hiya. Uncle Roger, get it. Maybe you can't find rice noodle in dollar store, but but uh, it still hurt my heart, little nephew. Linguini for pad thai. What kind of fusion is this? A fusion between Italian and stupid. That's what it is. You're pissing off all Italian people also. Hiya. Just stick your noodles. Oh, linguini water. into wok. That's the first time Uncle Roger ever see this. You forgot to do it before you cooked. We've got a little bit of a problem right now. We don't have a chili paste. Wrong. No, Pad Thai don't need paste. chili paste. Only I buy it. I'm guessing <sighs> that we take dried chilies and we reconstitute them. I, I don't know. Reconstitute? What, what reconstitute me? Stick some hot water into here. Ah, sriracha. Of course. Every time white people make Asian food, sriracha always appear that white people's secret weapon to turn any dish Asian. They just pour sriracha on it. Yeah. We've got our chilies constituting, we've got our noodles constituting, and now the So tamarind. constituting just mean soak in water. Just say soak in water. Okay, it's kinda Kinda okay, that tamarind. Got, like, veins and stuff. Let me taste it. Kind of gross looking. It's got like veins and stuff. Don't scare Wayne, little nephew. You look like guy who have Wayne in your mouth before. Sorry, children. Wow. Whoa. That's really nice, actually. Mm, good. He oh like tamarind. Good. Holy God. All right, hot water into the tamarind. That correct. Hot water to tamarind, correct? You want to make tamarind sauce. Did I put too much? Probably. Maybe we should rehydrate the, the ground shrimp while we're at it. No, no need to rehydrate ground shrimp. So we got chicken. Just put in wok and stir fry. That's pretty much it. Unless we want to make a, a nice hot cup of Skittles juice. What? For an impromptu no. of no, don't make original punch drink, drink mix. Oh. Right, that's kind of gross. Go looking. back to cooking pad thai. Show us oh, Skittles wow, for that's... what? Ew. Man. 
Smells like Kool-Aid. Is he making skin tone juice? What in the American is this? And he drinking it? No. It's like Jello. It's like it's like hot. It's like Jello before you cool it. Ugh. All right, shrimp paste, baby. Shrimp paste, nice, correct? Look at that. You know, it actually doesn't look that bad. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ooh. Wow, that's nice, actually. <laughs> what? What? It's like kind of like fishy and salty. What? Shrimp paste is white people kryptonite, but this nephew just eats straight shrimp paste and he like it. Wow. Fuyo, Uncle Roger, respect that. If I got chair, I'm gonna put my leg back up on chair. Good job, little nephew. Good job. I bought a can of sardines. I'm, uh, um, yeah. Sardine? Sardine for what? If we're lucky, make some sort of- But I no need sardine. Money, but to get something that even remotely resembles fish sauce. Can of sardines. What? You gonna- in water. No. You gonna make fish sauce from scratch? That's not how you make fish sauce, first of all. And also, you're making fish sauce from scratch. It take one whole year. Everybody gonna starve to death waiting for your pad thai. Hiya. No flavor, no nothing. Just straight up sardines. It's fishy. It's a little salty. It doesn't have any like of that punch. It's not a sauce. It's it's more of a... I think he's like, trying to make pad thai sauce now. What kind of unholy thing have we made here? Looks like a salad dressing from hell. Pad thai sauce, just fish sauce, tamarind, palm sugar. That it, little nephew. I think you're overcomplicating things. That's the sourest sewage I've ever slurped. All right, let's check on the noodles. This is great. Okay, I'm gonna take the noodles. I'm gonna put them into here. What is that? I'm gonna put them into here. Is that casket for pasta? Because that pasta more dead than my love life. All right, chopping the chilies up. Chili, not necessary. No chili in there. To do this. Pad thai, the chili, we just put on the side when you're serving. That it. King, we can. That's a spicy boy. Damn, that's nice. That's actually really nice. Now I'm gonna just go back and follow the instructions. So we've soaked the noodles. Follow instruction. Sauce. Now I'm gonna just go back and follow the instructions. Usually people look at instruction before they start cooking. But this nephew, he goes shopping, he start cooking, do all the wrong step, and then he look at instruction. I feel like I should do this before we actually fry everything. We gotta get the peanuts out, so I'm just- Peanut, okay. Sit here. But that just topping at the end. Uh, it, it, pim 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 The ultimate pimpage. What is the editing? Did I put hot dogs in it? This is insane. Wait, 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 what? Hot dog? No, no. No hot dog in Pad I know you're supposed to get all ingredients from Dollar Store, but surely Dollar Store got chicken. Hiya, hot dog? No. This Asian food, don't put hot dog in there. We don't eat dog, we eat bat now. Uh, yes, okay. Let's get rid of that dry. So now he cook on table. Water and put it in the trash can. Water in trash can, water belong in sink, not in trash can. Let's get the gas going, light this bad boy up, get it nice and hot. Put some oil in there. Oil correct? Yeah, maybe a little bit more. Pad thai is greasy. Thai no, food. no. A lot of Asian food in Milwaukee is greasy. Just load that. That too much, that's so much oil. Greta Thunberg gonna protest your pad thai. You just load that. Walk up with grease. I need the walk thing. Oh, I, the, the walk thing is easy if you have a, a well. Mmm, good, good. He have the Asian spatula. Fuyo. And the walk actually look used before. That good one point to you. Sriracha white boy got the right equipment. My, my seasoning is not as good as it could be. Mmm, he know about seasoning. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think you can really do too much garlic. Stir frying the hot, hot dogs. Meat going correct, but hot dog wrong. In the garlic, look at that. You've never seen hot dogs look so good, have you? Two eggs in the wok. It good? Look at that. That's good. No, the noodle. I think we'll go. That looks. Oh, look at that linguine in wok. It's so sad. That not where linguine belong. You're taking noodle out of their natural habitat. They're like putting panda in American soup. They're also sad in that depression eating the bamboo. Fine, maybe half the noodles. All right. The sauce go in, yeah. good. All step actually correct, just wrong ingredient for everything. What the hell is going on here? Doesn't look bad. That looks Stop lying to people, it looked terrible. What is that? Okay. 
Then we're gonna sprinkle the peanuts onto it. Okay. Yeah, like that. Nice topping. Man, only if we had green onions, this would look excellent. Look at that, we're plated up. Lime correct? It's excellent. I guess maybe if you zoom out really far, that kind of look like Pad Thai. But that don't mean it could. For my ex-wife, Auntie Helen, if you zoom out really far, she kind of look like human. This Pad Thai missing bean sprout, garlic chive, salted radish. But I guess that's harder to get from American dollar store. This is Pad Thai from a dollar store. Let's do a taste test, see how good it is. I need a fork. Oh boy. Fork correct, Let's nice. See what we put together here. Thai people eat pad thai with fork, not with chopstick. Ew, the whole thing coming up at once. Ew. It's not good. Look at his face. Or like chewy. Yeah, because it's pasta. Nobody wants their pad thai al dente. Hiya. The noodles feel a lot heavier than rice noodles. All right, our first test subject. <sighs> Really quick, before we get started, you gotta put your test, your test subject. subject. And you have to look into the camera. Who that? Your hostage. My name's Chef. <laughs> My name's Chef. That's great. Okay. This is. Is that your girlfriend? I bought at the dollar store. No, run this away, one. little girl. Little niece, run away. They're Blink right. twice if you help hostage. Blink twice if you're in trouble. Eat it. Oh no. That domestic abuse, you know? Not very good. Why not? What's wrong with it? Pad Thai is so flavorful, and this is like very sad Thai. Yeah? That's sad Thai? I'm gonna watch a few bad for this little niece. Yeah. Take your uh, dinner with you. <laughs> no, I will be cooking dinner. Good. I thought I was good. not gonna have to cook. Run away. Cook dinner yourself. Don't eat this science experiment. This nephew actually knows the basic of Pad Thai. He has the walk, he knows the step, he likes shrimp paste. He gets so many things right and so many things wrong at the same time. Hiya. I guess lesson from this video. Go to H Mart, go to Costco, go to Chinatown. Just never buy Pad Thai ingredient from dollar store.